Brian from Brian's Aquatics. Uh, first things first, I wanted to thank everyone to, for subscribing to me. Sorry I haven't been on lately. I've had a lot of personal things going on, some issues and stuff like that. But this is just going to be a quick, a quick update um, of the 125 and the two 10-gallon tanks. Um, I'm going to do some cleaning and stuff like that. I did a tiny bit, as you can see, my reflection. I like to leave a lot of the algae on the side of the glass. That way the fish have something to graze on. But the Texas Cichlid, the Oscar right there is doing great. Let's see if we can. Sorry if it gets shaky. The Oscar's doing good. The Texas Cichlids, the Koi's are doing good. Uh, the co two convicts that are in here are doing great. Um, overall, you can see how dirty the tank is. So I'm going to show you this as a before. But overall, everything is going great. So let's see if we can't zoom in on some people. Okay. There's the Asiago. Uh, koi right there, the one with like the orange bottom and the you know long fin, Asiago koi. Got the orange koi, got the silver koi, got the two convicts hanging out. Sorry if you really can't see, you got a lot of algae on the glass, like I said. I'm gonna be cleaning that off. Um, yeah, so I mean, that's pretty much it on the 125. I'm going to be re-aquascaping this here shortly. Um, this, at least moving the driftwood around, changing the layout. I mean, um, I've just been maintaining this, keeping it full, you know, feeding the fish, the basic stuff. Um, but I want to change the whole thing about it. Uh, I'd like to order some uh, uh, plants from Aquarium Co-op because uh, I want a gift card in one of the contests so I'm gonna do that but I just gonna save a little bit more money and then I wanna you know do like at least a 50 or 75 gallon package if he has something that big for this tank these guys are really active I just turned the lights back on they've been out for a few hours now now over to this tank sorry for the purple hue but these two tanks right here, the one on the left is the female beta, beta tank. I do have one note, the Pleco that was in there, the high fin Pleco decided to hop out of the tank. Must have been fairly recently. He had some, uh, you know, stuff from the floor on him, but he was still alive, still kicking. Now he's hiding out. Oh, yeah, he's hiding out in the uh, female Pleco tank. And... That's pretty much it. That Anubius is taking off like crazy. Here, one second. So, let me... So, the Anubius is doing great. I've just been letting this water sprite in a Java Fern just do what it wants to do. Got a little offshoot, a lot of offshoots from that Java Fern right there. There's probably five or six plants there. The water... Um, uh, the water sprite and stuff like that's going crazy. This plant that I got clipping from is like four feet long now. I'm probably gonna take cut the clippings down, maybe uh, add it to this guppy tank right here. But overall, got a lot, a lot of snails. The Pleco's hiding right there. That high fin was covered in like, you know, I have a dog, so obviously I found all the dog hair. But got the female beta, and I got a couple of the feeder guppies still in this tank that are this grown out. So that's that tank. Now to the fancy guppy tank and snails. This tank overall is doing pretty well. I've added, uh, you know, the Java Fern starting to take off. These grasses or whatever they are, not sure what it was. I got them from PetSmart. Um, looks like that female is gonna be dropping her fry. 
Sorry for the shakiness here shortly. All the females big and fat and happy. Uh, I do a lot of change in the water here. I'm probably doing a 20 or 30% water change every three days. Two depending on what I think. My water parameters are good, but I just want to cycle out the water. Um, not cycle, but change out the water, keep it clean. I probably have really small fry, probably about 10 of them, really small, and then I get some a little bit larger fry. Let me see if I can't zoom in. I mean, they range in sizes. That's one of the fry right there. So that was the first spawn. Now there's been many more, if you want to call it a spawn. So, sorry for the bounciness. I mean, overall, the high fin plecos that are in this tank are doing great. Um, all the female guppies are doing great in this tank. I still only have two male um, fancies in here, the blue one and this orange kind of flame looking one. I don't know what it's exactly called. If you know, comment below. Um, I got a ton, a ton of snails, over a hundred now easily between these two smaller tanks and my big 125 and the sump. Um, but I'm curious to see what kind of mix I get. It looks like that one right there is about to dro drop some fry right there. Getting all nice and squared off. Come on, focus, 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 focus. Sorry for the glare, but yeah, that's the tank. The guppy tank. You can see all the little small fry. They love that java moss. They love everything. Um... Pretty much the high fence hide the whole time. Let's see if I can't get in this shrimp tube slash fry tube and see what's going on in there. Looks like some stuff was in there. But there's a ton, a ton of baby, baby fry in this tank. The way I look at it is if the parents eat it, uh, it was meant to be. You know, the fittest survive. But I'm probably up to who knows how many right now. Probably the medium size fry right there, if you call that medium or smaller fry. Uh, probably about, mm, I'd say 10 of those. And then this ranges in all different sizes. So I'm eventually going to move some of the fry over into this tank. And I'm going to move probably the high fin pleco out of this one. And put it in my 125 and I might get rid of a couple um, feeder guppies or whatever you want to call them out of this 10 gallon right here and add some of the fancy guppies in here but I mean this water's pretty crystal clear but of course that's a 40 gallon I believe that's a 40 gallon sponge filter there I got two hang on the backs that's at least doing you know made for a 50 or 70 gallon or 75 gallon tank I can't remember I think it's 50 but overall everything's doing great let me know what you think comment subscribe hit me up with some comments feedback let me know what's going on and thank you again I want to th say a big thank you to my, all my subscribers sorry for not getting back and having some content in about a week maybe a little bit more but that's it. Take it easy. This is a, and I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a good night.